In this video we're going to have a quick look at how to use a colour emitter. We can use colour emitters to measure the level of absorbance or percentage transmittance of a particular wavelength of light through a sample, or even monitor simple kinetics by looking at changes in absorbance over time to determine reaction rates. This is our colour emitter here. I'm going to turn it on uh, just to allow it to warm up before we run any samples through it. We can cycle between absorbance or transmittance by using this button here, and that's shown on the screen or we can monitor reactions using the button below. In this video, however, we're only concerned with collecting absorbance value data. We can use our absorbance values to determine the concentration of an unknown sample, but in order to do this, we must first produce a calibration curve or plot by analysing a series of known concentrations. So I've made a set of calibration standards and transferred them to um, my cuvettes. So on the far left here, I have uh, the highest concentration running all the way down to our weakest concentration here. I also have dilute nitric acid um, in this cuvette and that will act as my reference when I come to use a colorimeter. Now these cuvettes have a path length of one centimeter which you can apply to the Beer Lambert law. And the cuvettes that you might use in the lab uh, will probably be or can be slightly different to what I'm using here. So this one has two ridge sides and two clear windows. So you need to make sure that when you put your cuvette into the um, colorimeter that your beam of light is able to pass through the two clear windows. There's also a triangular marker which you can just about see at the top of your of this cuvette here. Um, I tend to use that as a, a marker when filling up the cuvettes, so I don't go past that marker. You don't need to fill it up to that marker, but as long as it's, your sample is higher and what the beam of light. Now we need to run a reference sample before analysing any other samples on our colorimeter. So we'll, for that we'll use our reference here and then we'll go from the weakest all the way to the most uh, concentrated standard. Right, so let's set up our colorimeter. Firstly make sure that the colorimeter is in absorbance mode, which it is as you can see on the display there. Then select the correct wavelength. So the wavelength of light that passes through our sample is controlled by a set of filters and you can alter these filters by rotating a thumb wheel which is on the right um, of the machine here and the displayed or selected wavelength is shown here so I'm going to set mine to 520 nanometers this machine uh, has a range of 440 to 680 nanometers so I'm going to use 520 as I said but you should always check your lab script to make sure you've got the correct wavelength selected Now let's run a reference sample. Remember to make sure that you orientate your cuvette so that the clear uh, windows are facing front to back and then press R for reference and that gives us a, a, an absorbance value of zero which makes sense because our sample is clear and so light is passing straight through, there's no absorbance. Remove your cuvette with the uh, blank or reference sample in there and let's look at our first calibration uh, standard. So in this case we press T for test and that gives us an absorbance value for that particular wavelength in that particular sample. So make a note of that in a, an appropriate table and then continue to run the rest of your calibration standards and then you can make a calibration curve and I cover this in another video.